Hello everyone, my name is Quentin Ashley, also known as the Magic Man, and I'm part of the Palmyra Madison and Boys Varsity Soccer Team, also known as the PMFC. And tomorrow we've got the 2012 season starting, but before we get into that, let's learn a little bit about last season. The 2011 Boys Varsity Soccer Team was arguably the greatest soccer team in Palmac history, stats-wise and all-around just having a truly memorable group of guys. Some of the achievements include an undefeated season, Finger Lakes League title, and unfortunately a loss to Livonia in sectional semifinals. As far as the actual soccer, the 2011 team had already mastered the basics of the game, and this allowed us to concentrate on other aspects of the team that are not always given enough attention, such as time in the weight room, creating a balanced team, and of course having as much fun in practices and team bondings as possible. This team had an unforgettable group of seniors that taught by example, some of which include the unstoppable team of Luke Prince and Brett Spusa in the central midfield position, the fastest kid in Section 5, Seth Bailey as our sweeper, and the legendary goalkeeper, Mark Reeves. I think most players that had the privilege of calling themselves a teammate and a friend of those seniors would agree that the speed, strength, skill, talent, and overall knowledge of the game was truly taken for granted. Luckily for us returning players, they left us with the tools and the knowledge to building a successful soccer team. And yes, that is a clip of the 2012 returning players looking on as the seniors are read their senior words, preparing to beat Minders for the second time on their senior night, which would secure their undefeated season. And after that season ended, the work didn't stop there. Our players moved on to indoor soccer, where we tried to play as much soccer as possible, whether it was playing every week at the community center or joining a league or a club team. Don't believe me? Check out some of the highlights. The main goal for the 2012 returning and new players for indoor soccer was to have as much fun as possible. However, we were still looking to improve and progress as a team. So for the first time for our generation of players, we joined an indoor turf league, which greatly helped us in many ways. This league had a wide variety of teams, good and bad, that allowed us to, like I said, have some fun and to challenge us and see how we were able to play against great teams such as Empire United and the Grease Cobras. I believe that some of the things that we are able to create with no real practices or coaching staff is truly inspirational. When the snow melted, our players took to the grass, and in a few short months, summer soccer started. Our U18 team scored as many goals and won as many games as possible this season. It was very successful and it gave us a very good idea of what our team is going to be like this year. Check out some of our highlights. Similar to indoor soccer, our goal was still to have fun, but with the start of preseason becoming noticeably close, it was time to focus up. With that being said, the returning players began to step up into their leadership roles of the team. As for the new players, they had nothing to lose. Many began to show what they could bring to the team, and for some, they proved why they should be on the team. As I mentioned, U18 gave us a good look at what our varsity team would be like for the players and for the coaches. Also, the league had changed to mirror what varsity had set up for the East and the West teams to play each other once. So, we were able to get a good look at some of the teams that we would play on varsity that we really didn't know much about. And since that season ended, our players have been running, lifting, and playing soccer as much as possible to get ready for preseason. An average kid, they still got three more weeks of summer vacation. But for all a part of the PMFC, the work starts tomorrow at 9 a.m. I'll see y'all there. Alright, we're pulling into the school right now. It is 
8.32 a.m. Monday. All right, we're walking up right now. Our players are walking up to the track. We spent a lot of time here during preseason. We use the track for running miles, sprints, and do some drills as well. However, right now, our player is about to prepare for the legendary two-mile run. Hello. Hello. The two-mile run is important for a couple of reasons. First off, it is the beginning of the team's mission to being as good a shape as possible. It also gives us coach an idea of who's been doing work over the summer. And let me tell you, it is easy to notice who has done it. It can also show coach how much you want it. It can mean a starting position, more playing time, or even making the team altogether. A great example of this is sophomore Hayden Ashley coming in first at a time of around 12 minutes. The two miles has been a first day tradition for as long as I can remember. However, what comes after is very unpredictable. This year, coach decided to do some track work with the ball before going up to the field. Everybody to be receiving the ball as you are traveling forward at a little bit of a little bit of pace. Alright? Whether we have been running this summer or not, a two mile is a two mile, therefore we are very tired. Coach is aware of this, so he has designed drills that work out our mental game and not our physical one. That means he is looking for the ones who are willing to dive deep into themselves and are focused on using technique and their heads. So whether someone is tired or not, these drills should not be a problem. After our legs cool down, we get a little motivation from coach, we begin improving. And for the first day, we're not doing too bad. After those drills, it's time to hit the grass. But first, as a team, including JV and Varsity, to take a cool down lap. Then it's up to the field to conclude the final part of the first day of preseason. Like I mentioned earlier, for the drills after long runs such as the 2 mile, they are not physically tiring, but they do require focus. As you can see, these drills are not very difficult. All it is is dribbling through some cones and passing it to the next person in the line. But with our sore legs, mistakes can be easily made. That is where the focus comes in. Coach is expecting no matter how tired any of us are that we can all accomplish these simple tasks with little to no mistakes. Now at the first day, or should I say, the first practice of preseason, considering here at Palmac we run double sessions for the first few weeks, is now coming to an end, our players are starting to realize what has just begun. Throughout the next few months, our team will have the best and most memorable times of their entire lives so far. There are many great games, lots of fun times, and luckily for you, the viewer, I've got it all on tape. Now please, let me personally, in voice, welcome you to PMFC the movie, and I hope you enjoy it. Now, let's continue with the building process of our team. Now onto the third day of preseason, we begin to really get into the soccer. We are still just starting out the season, so there's a lot of basic and simple drills. There's a lot of passing, trapping, and things like that.
Uh, I'll tell you what, I've been, I, I, I was kind of, um, I was kind of tentative with, with making uh, an idea or a blanket statement about this year's crew. Um, and uh, pleasant, pleasantly surprised each session. I think that we have uh, 20 guys that are gonna come together as both friends uh, and a machine on the field. Everybody seems really eager to work, uh, to learn. We definitely have some smart soccer players. So each day, especially this, this morning session, Wednesday's morning session, uh, left me with a pretty good feeling about about what this what this team is capable of for preseason. If this team if this team gives Coach Schlegel and I the same effort in the next week and a half, I see some pretty good things happening in this season. All right, thanks, Coach. You got it. <laughs> and that's it. The first episode of PMFC the movie. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to hit that thumb up button and comment down below what you think of the series so far. Up here we've got the trailer where I gave information on how to spread the word of PMFC the movie and over here we've got the next episode in the series. Like I said, thank you all for watching. One, two, I'll see y'all later.